Back today, a tattoo convention dedicated to Harry Potter came to Chattanooga. Alex George tells us why today was so meaningful for one News Channel 9 employee. It's a fandom unlike any other. Today, an entire tattoo convention was catered towards the Gryffindors, Slytherins, Ravenclaws, and Hufflepuffs. There were many people getting inked with Harry Potter art. One of News Channel 9's editors was one of them. Oh, being eight years old, seeing the movie trailer for the first time, I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Today, Jeff Morris got his Hogwarts house, an H for Hufflepuff, tattooed on him forever. Yeah, I just kind of did my own spin on it. Hufflepuffs are the house that kind of represents like truthfulness, fairness, honesty, uh, loyalty. That's what Hufflepuffs represent. To find out the house you're sorted into, the author of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, created an online and very in-depth quiz. I kind of wanted to be a Gryffindor, but then when I went in-depth, like, research, you know, what does a Hufflepuff truly mean, then I was like, okay, that really more best describes me. It's not just the people getting tattooed who the series speaks to. Tattoo artists like Lisa Dahl also feel a connection to the books. The Harry Potter fandom is a really cool thing. Um, Sometimes when people write fantasy stories, they don't realize at first, you know, how much it'll impact people. But even if I just, even if I just see it as a fun fantasy story, there are people out there that, you know, it really helped them through tough times in their life. In a small town, you know, I got picked on a couple of times, you know, and Harry Potter was like one of those avenues that I got to. the stress, I guess, if that makes any sense. The series was an outlet for Jeffrey, just as Lisa's art is for her. When it comes to tattooing, it's really fun to be a part of something that's so memorable and meaningful for people. In Chattanooga, Alex George. Today was the last day of that two-day convention, but the tattoo artist says she is already planning on coming back next year.